Welcome, Welcome to, to Big Brother, Brother. 22. 22. Commentary. Commentary. Okay. okay. Bye, bye, bye. What's up? What's up? I see I got old Tiff. I like old Tiff. Okay, gnarly dude. Um oh my god. I feel like this big brother, like it's getting to the point now where it's like we know, we know. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing else like super exciting that's actually happening. But we already know that Kevin um did not you know, I'm sorry, that Cody did not use the veto. He won the veto, and it was very close. Did you see how fast Kevin was moving? I was like, wait a minute. Let me find out, Kevin, if athletic, because Kevin was moving. I think they sleep on Kevin a lot. So, we got the whole controversy. Hey, Laundry Day, J-Job. Happy to my people coming through. Wonder where everybody. Did I get notifications? Wonder where everybody was at. Um, everybody making a big whoop because he got $10,000. Bro, I don't understand. Did we not just hear Tyler say in the beginning of the episode that he got $5,000 in promo drunk? So what's the big deal because David won the $10,000? I'm still waiting on a response on that one. I don't get it because this is the thing I'm trying to figure out because okay when there are prizes people want prizes you know I get what Kevin's saying because he's on a block he's like well, I hope everybody sees how selfish David is because he got he wants the prize instead of trying to get safety but, but besides David I'm getting everybody else getting mad J. Jones he didn't he didn't why are they so pressed that David took the money? They keep targeting him. Why? Why not? Leave with the cash. That's what I say. I say if I'm going to the block, I'm sorry, if I'm going home, jury, wherever, hotel, wherever I'm going, I'm going to come out of there with some cash. That's the whole point of Big Brother doing the episode they do every year where you can play for cash throughout the, you know, a couple of times in different competitions. And the reason why they do that is because, okay, if you lose if do comps or whatever you're still in the house you can have a chance of getting your money and not only that you got the america's favorite player you got second place uh big brother is a lot of things but they give you a lot of opportunity to get the coin now whether or not you take upon yourself to do it is something else i think david was smart i'm telling you if it wasn't if if, if he had done it somebody else would have they're just mad because he didn't do it Oh snap, Gap Stars in the building. What's up? Are y'all getting my notifications? Because it seems like y'all are not getting my notifications. Seriously. That's why I tell you guys I have my live on this on the community wall on YouTube. Y'all can just hit that bell and it'll give you a 30 minute reminder. But I did just go live like two seconds ago. How you doing, J Job? Gap Star Laundry Day. Commissioner Views crew, I see coming through. So, you know, I enjoyed seeing the little lizard and everything, and but I especially, I especially enjoyed seeing Nicole fall. Now you know I had to record that. I have her falling on my Instagram. <laughs> you guys go check out my Instagram. To me, that was literally the best thing fall down. Do not forget to subscribe to all my social media so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. Let me, let me tell y'all something. When I seen her fall, I had to hurry up, upload it, and put it on Twitter and IG before I hit my live. Because that was hilarious. Hey, Malik! You did your job? Nicole threw it. Let me tell you something, Laundry Day. The thing that pisses me off about Nicole. Nicole, Nicole had it. Nicole, oh, I did. Okay, J. Jobs. Uh, Nicole had it. The part that pissed me off is that 
You wanted Cody to win the veto so you don't have to do anything? This is the most scariest All-Stars I have ever seen. No strategy. I'm sorry, no, 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 no strategy. No, no, no major game moves. Everything is too early. So weird. Then job when the code failed, I was smiling the entire time. But I'm gonna tell you something. Nicole always falls. Do you know why she was laughing? Because she always falls down. She always has one video that goes viral because she falls down. Big Brother gets it, puts the little noise on it, replay it twice. Oh, did it again? Oh, yeah, my bad. Mm hmm. She just, she just, Nicole is just there for uh, clout, uh, you know, for her, for her pages, for her stuff. And I'm not even hating on that, honestly. I'm not because she already won. She already won. She wasn't really reveling. Uh, nobody really cared about Nicole. I ever forgot about it. So I think she just got back on here. She was like, oh, yeah, people forgot about me. My Instagram blowing up now. It's so hard. I was like, you are holding a rope. I know you're wet. Climbing up the hill. Stop it. Nicole F is old school. Sit back and let everyone else do the work for free. Oh, yes. Nicole is most definitely sitting back and let the dudes do everything. Nicole F and Cody talked about, talked on the feeds about getting TV time for social media uh, followers. Oh my God! And that's why I got so annoyed when like Davon would say stuff like she would get, they wouldn't give her no time just to just to get her little, you know, her little shade or whatever. But uh, oh my God, I don't know what to say about today, brother. It's just a, it's just a hot mess. It really is, unfortunately. What you see, what you get in the building. What's up, baby? Laundry day said, "Yep, exactly. I can now see Nicole sneaking her way to the final two. She weaponized. Look, she said Krampus. That movie is so crazy. Um, yes, I guess the old lady stopped it last night. Yeah, Malik. I think I put it on my Twitter and on my community wall. That's a shame. You good? What you see? What you get? You right on time, baby. But um, uh, make you guys come in and hit that like button, please. Like seriously, she will get to the final two. And Nicole and Cody are not lying. People do go see their little videos and stuff like that, so that they can, you know, for their social media. I mean, that, that is not a lie. I believe that they have big fans. All of them have fans. Part of the reason why David's back on here again because he created a really big fan base with uh this whole situation with him not getting a chance to play and the last time he was on big brother mm -hmm. yes now let's talk about christmas temper tantrum real quick so they are picking the veto right they're picking the veto for the, for the hotel veto hold on if you see blue in the chat, it's Periscope. Dude face Cupid high. Oh, oh, oh dude face uh, cup holder. What's up? These people in the house are so racist. Yes, they are. And welcome to the chat. Uh, dude face, if you could just uh, retweet it from Periscope. I know you're not on YouTube. You get the like button. I appreciate that. Um, Christmas had a freaking temper tantrum tonight. And I was like, I do not understand how she... I don't have a picture of her by herself. I thought I'd be. I probably deleted it. I just saw her and Mr. Claus. Okay, let's talk about Christmas. So Christmas is sitting there. I have one more trick up my sleeve. And she thought she was going to get picked for veto. Bro, when everybody went down the line and, and David picked up the little ball and it said, House is joy. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they play us. His mind, his thinking. He's going to play for us. <laughs> okay. So then all of a sudden, he turns the ball or whatever, has to get a choice, and he says, Enzo, will you play for me? Christmas, 
gets up and said, what did she say? Call me, replacement nominee, or I'll see you on Thursday, or something like that. I'm like, what the? <laughs> Thank you, dude face, Cupid. <laughs> I cannot believe that Christmas had a freaking temper tantrum over that. She got so freaking mad about that. I was like, ain't she over 40 or something? I've never seen a woman act that way. She hopped up. Then part that I didn't like, she goes to the room and here comes, well, who's that? Tyler Cody in Memphis to come and soothe, the, soothe her because you know she wants a bunch of men holding her. Grinch and Mr. Claus can take their sleigh and fly with can't look with the elves and all. It would be funny if Christmas Witch H O H evicts Cody since Cody did not use the veto. I don't know what exactly is going to happen, but all I know is this: she's an idiot. Okay, she's a pure idiot. She's very immature. She's very needy. Okay, she wants somebody to jingle on Christmas lights. And them jingle, them crippled lights look too much like a man, and they don't want to fool with her. That's a problem. I don't want Christmas. See, Christmas don't even want Christmas. She said, no one picked me because nobody wants you, honey. Just like when you was in school and you was the last one picked to play dodgeball. And you still got hit with the ball. Same thing. Okay? She brought back memory when she was a child. Now I was like, we don't like Christmas. We don't like Christmas. So her name is Halloween. They probably all call it Halloween. It's probably her first time hearing this. Oh my God, you're making me laugh so hard. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you are enjoying yourself. <laughs> I just can't stand it. I'm sorry. She's like a child. She's like an old person child. I, I don't know. I was like, bro, if you, I'm trying to figure out. You, did, you see, did you see how strong that man is? That, that she man is? She had like four big old grown men on top of her. She was just fine. She probably gonna take them all up and lift them all up with one hand. I got this. I got this. Ugh. She just, I, I don't know. Anyway. The grin wants to be important to the guys. Oh my God, yes. Wait, Grandpa Enzo wants to shake things up because he can't remember <laughs> Look, Laundry Day. He's in like all five alliances. The wise guys, the committee. Tamisha, aren't you scared that Chris may find you inside to run you over with her Mercedes? Jay John, let me tell you something. If she tries to run me over, she better make sure she succeeds. Because, see, this ain't big brother. And where I live at, I live in the South. She better not bring her behind down here. I don't care if you look like a man. I'll fight you like you a man. I got stuff in my car that will run <laughs> all the day. Anyway. <laughs> that job. I forgot where I was at. I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. I forgot where I was at real quick. <laughs> she acts so crazy. I've been to call up. What's that number that you call people crazy? I can't, I mean, not crazy. I don't want to say crazy. But you call that number when people need help. I can't. It's, it's like calling CPS for grown people. I forgot that number. I've been in college. She needs to be looked at. She's touched. Something's not right there. If Christmas tries to run, Kamisha, over, I'll run her over. See, what you see, what you get. That's my dog. <laughs> well, you know, in the South, we have things that we have in our car. We don't say what they are, but if she comes, are you going to get a TMZ report? Bop, 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 bop. Christmas from Big Brother and Commission Reviews from YouTube. <laughs> All y'all going to see me on TMZ, okay? With the black and white picture up in jail somewhere. Shoot, I ain't got time for Christmas. Everybody else might be scared of that crazy heifer, but I'm not. I'm talking about you, girl. Bye. That ain't nothing. Mm -mm. I got this. I'm a military brat. Trust and believe. I got the camouflage. I know how to hide everything. Okay. okay. I got your sniper. <laughs> All of a sudden, you'll see her walk down the street. 
all of a sudden you hear choo. And all of a sudden she goes out to the ground. Boom! <laughs> David looked like Charlie Brown. They all yelled, "You uh uh, laundry day. Stop it." You know what? He you know what? I hate to say this. Not, I'm sorry to say this. He does give me Charlie Brown tease. Like Charlie Brown was a character that was annoying. But you feel bad for him. And you feel bad for him, you got irritated with him. But then you wanted to help him. Then you was like, uh, blackhead. That's it. Right there. That's David. All the way. Completely. I completely agree. Because he reminds me of Charlie Brown the way he carries himself, like with the head down and I don't know anything and all this crap. Mm -mm. Grandpa Memphis better be careful. If he makes her mad, she might try to run him over. The way she acted today, you know, when they something, the way Christmas acted today, if a person of color would have acted that way, oh my God. Did you see that? Did you see the one when Davon and them got look at how they acted with Davon's speech? Davon made a speech and actually got a little bit tired. What do you want to say? They talked about their freaking speech for like two or three days. Two days, however long we'll push out jury. Now look, Crimson's over here having a nerve breakdown and get mad that you wouldn't pick. And what they do, they go give her a hug. Please. Double standard. Come on now. If y'all don't see it still, if y'all don't see let, 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 let me show some receipts one more time. Let me show some receipts real quick. If you still don't believe it, look at the nomination. Look. Tell me what you think right there. Everybody in the chat, when you first see the nominations, Periscope and YouTube, what comes to your mind? I'll wait. What you see, what you get, you crazy. But it's, that might be true. That might be a hugger. I know the comments kind of delayed in YouTube, so I'll wait. Y'all, look at these comments. Ooh, J Job. Uh, that know your place, which is, I know you're telling the truth. I cannot stand that. They want a day to know her place and stay there. Mm. J Job says minorities. That's the first thing. What you see, what you get says, wow. Look at all the people of color. Come on, my people. Come on in the chat. I'm going to let y'all keep going. What do you see? The first thing you look at this. I'm not saying anything. This is the true nomination. So what do y'all see when y'all look at that? And you write down the first thing that comes to your mind. And so far, I got minorities. Wow. Look at all the people of color. No white men. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get y'all a boom. I need a boom on that one. I need a what? I need a uh boom on them. Y'all was hold on. What is my thing? Wait a minute. There we go. What you see, what you get said the so called weakest link. Amazing. When I look at this picture, the first thing that I say is you the people that are intended, everybody in the house. This group of people intimidated everybody in the house. Let's see. It was intimidated by Davon and Bailey and Janelle. I really do believe for some reason Nicole would have been something. Uh, what you see, what you get is what the house wanted. Facts. J Jobs, that's how I see it. Hold on, let me see. Uh, I'm going to say, wait a minute, somebody got some. Oh, dude, face. Oh, dude, face cup holder from Periscope. Then hopped over to YouTube. What's up? Don't forget to subscribe. You can come all the way from Periscope. Go hit the subscribe button, baby. Go, go ahead and hit that like button for me. I appreciate it. And if you don't mind, if you have a Twitter, share this on Twitter. Hashtag Big Brother. They are blatantly racist. It's disgusting. 
Getting the racism in the house. That's sad. The minorities are also to blame. Rather than working together and form their own alliance, upon entering the house, they chose to run the coding instead. Gab Star, I made about four or five videos where I literally said almost that to the T. When I made my video about why minorities have not one big brother, one of the things that I said is they did not win, not just because of racism, not because of people that want women, women to win, because they did not come together like they should have. This group right here, if they all would have came together, this is a powerful situation. New Earth Sun, how you doing? New Earth, New Earth Sun, the problem is that none of these players got in power. That's also true. Dude Face Cup Holder says, oh, I subscribe, like, and retweet it. This is too good not to share. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um, New Earth Sun said, not really about forming alliance. They never want to so there's nothing they can do about it, but they had the numbers. New Earth Sun, let me say this. Yes, of course, nobody didn't win HOH out of the group, but who knows what would have happened if Janelle would have stayed. She would have got HOH at some point in time. Okay. Keisha. Okay. Second of all, they had the numbers. If none of them got in any kind of power, they still had the numbers. They were the one voting. If you have HOH and they have three people in their alliance, but you got 10 people over here that's like, oh, you want to vote this way? But we're voting this way. You know what I'm saying? All everybody does is go, ever since that one big brother with the HOH and the veto, I'm sorry, they go to HOH to decide everything. Ever since that season, that's how everybody's done it. I hope whipped cream crew. Wait a minute. I hope whipped cream crew know that they are not as smart as they think they are. Jay Jobs is a combination of both. Mm -hmm. Janelle almost won week two, but did not. Yes, almost. Memphis is architect of the committee. No blacks were chosen on purpose. Ooh, and I do agree with that. Janelle would have took out Nicole and Danny. Uh yes. Can you believe the alliance? Kaiser, Janelle, Bailey, David, Keisha, Day. That's six tough. You know what I'm saying? They had the numbers. But if, if see, the thing about it, the longer you stay in the house with big numbers like that, eventually somebody's going to win that group. Somebody's going to win it. And once that happens, boom. Well, let's just learn. I hope for next season, though, gaming should never be about race. Unfortunately, Game Star, I agree. I've done all kinds of sports growing up. And trust me, my race has nothing to do with it. What I won or lost. You know what I'm saying? So I do. I hear what you're saying. If they, they choose, chose as two of the six committee members, the season would have been different. I think, but see, Jay Jobs, and I said this on the video about why people of color don't win. They are never chosen before an alliance. A person of color is not chosen for the main alliances. It's been proven time and time again, Big Brother. That's why I say when you come into the house, you need to make your own alliance. Don't wait for them to choose you. David was almost waiting patiently for them to say, do you want to have a seat at the table? Like, John Wayne, stop it. No. I'm going to create my own table. Okay? Now, he said something crazy this week. He told Danny, Please keep me around so I can see the table get smaller. Like, David, you are taking, I'm a rookie. I haven't seen anything and all of that way too far to me. He said that, y'all. He said, keep me around. And then, then Danny said, is that your pitch? <laughs> he, she's like, you just don't know. I want you to go home. And you telling me to keep you around so you can see the table get smaller? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's insane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would have been a game changer. That would have been a game changer. Uh, someone said David is ugly. He is not ugly. He is very attractive. 
David is not the type of dude that I rock with. If I were stuck in the house with him, he seems kind of a um, little wishy washy to me. I like me a strong man. Like walk in the house and say, "Hey, hey, come here, yo, we gonna be an alliance." You cool with that? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Not like uh, do who? You know I can't. Mm-mm. No, I can't do it. Uh, a person of color has to win influence big one. The form to- Little Earth, son, you mean you are right here. I said that in my video, what I did about the minority, our people of color, I said. And Cody's the pre- uh, pre- president when he won HOH first. Then boom, Memphis won the second HOH. He created the committee. From there, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. And you have Christmas, and then you have Danny. And then Cody again. Personal color, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Dan Bailey had a chance to go into the user. I think they should have chose a lot of different ideas. Is that a cultural thing that black players have not taken the initiative? J. John is not that the black players, it's also the women. Um, I think in the older B brothers, some of the women came together and tried a women's alliance, but it didn't fail badly. Um, I remember one, I can't remember that one season. Was it cold in season? When they almost had a women's the alliance, but they fell apart. It was so stupid. But, and talked too much, and they and they, and they want to be in control. And, you know, I got to be the head one in charge of all that bull crap that women always do to each other. But um, culturally, a lot of times, black people either might be standoffish or the opposite might think they can't work with them because they're going to blow up or they're going to get upset. For a black woman, now a black man, Maybe yes, but for a black woman, it's always a no. They don't. Oh, I don't know. I'm sketchy. She she might blow up if we tell her something. You know stuff like that. A, a black woman is known for getting angry and blowing up and getting upset. And the two that we've had on the show, which is Bailey and Davon, both blew up in their season. But you gotta remember about Davon. Davon got grabbed. Remember that time that guy hit her butt. And called her a slut? That was ridiculous. I remember that. Uh, Devin is funny. I've learned to see him play a redemption season. Memphis Clear does not like black people. He has a uh, uh, irrational, yes, grudge towards David. And he uses the rookie thing. He uses the thing in my mouth. Come on, dude. Dude, face cup holder? That's pure facts, though. Because I used to wonder, what is Memphis? No sound. Y'all can't hear me? Hold on, wait a minute. Can y'all hear me? Hold on. Can y'all hear me? Okay, okay. So, who comment was there? I like that comment, dude face cup holder. That comment was everything because honestly, when I saw Memphis getting upset with David, I always thought I missed the episode or missed the scene because I was trying to figure out what is his issue with David. I never really say I never saw David just like, oh man, I hate Memphis. I'm going after him, you know. So I, just, I, I agree with you. Monte could have been successful with minority members, but Kaylee, she did. She was obsessed. She was so obsessed. Oh my gosh, she was weird. She ruined everything. She wanted all attention on her, just like Christmas. I like a strong chocolate man. Facts. Facts. Okay. Alte has had stupid. <laughs> you should. You should see them on uh, the challenge. Fancy on the challenge. He's still fancy, but it's you know. They need to give Devin his credit from BB16. He starred the majority of lives with both men and women in the group. Memphis has a problem with black men, especially. Well, I don't know what black man hurt Memphis, but somebody did something to him. Because he's coming after David so maliciously, just like I tried to figure out what is the issue with Cody and Davon. This is the same dude whose brother had a season with her they got into a real battle of the girlfriend or whatever, I mean, over whatever. He mentioned her child. They got into it on live, on air, 
and made up after the fact he told Polly, I mean, excuse me. He told uh Cody to watch out for Davon. He's been talking trash and trying to get Davon in the house since week two. What's the deal with that? I don't understand the hatred for somebody can have for a black person because they're black. You know, if you have a hate for somebody because they just done you dirty, they talk completely trash about you for no reason. I'm like, go go after them. I don't care what they are. I understand why you have a grudge. It's I understand. But I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out where's the beef. And wherever the beef is, Cody, you need to grill it up and eat it. Okay? Period. What you think? What you get? <laughs> yes. Uh, everybody in the chat, please hit that like button, please. Ali and BB10 call Memphis. Wait. Ali and BB10 call Memphis, Keisha, and Dan the Cabbage Pad Kids. What? New Earth Son. Ali's sister actually called in. I uh, came on my live uh, a few about a month ago, and she really gave us an eye opener. Us over here, Keisha reviews. She really spoke. Um, she was a she was a great conversation. I had I enjoyed talking to her about her brother and how he feels about Big Brother. And I I should have reached out to her, but I think she followed me on Instagram now. But um, I would love to talk to him because I do feel like that um he probably has a lot to say, even though it was the old Big Brother. He still was in Big Brother as a black man, you know. I completely agree with you. I'm like a strong chocolate dude. Oh yeah, Malik, sure. Am I one no week? Little flimsy old thing, you know. I don't know. Uh, Cody and his brother talk about each other's bulges, so there is something wrong with that. <laughs> Are you serious? Had... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gabstar said facts, Commissioner, regarding Cody. He put Day and Bay in that head-to-head -head comp for no reason. He just did not want, it's like it was going to kill Cody to see one of them win HOH. He really only wanted Bailey in the house anyway. But I always felt like, what was the deal that he wanted to make sure that a black woman did not win that HOH? He could have chose anybody, but he chose Davonna Bailey quick. Because he knew that no matter whoever wins, the other one's gonna get kicked out the game. And the only ones that are left are the committee and the few little floaters and Davon. And so I don't understand what was his deal. I would love to talk to Cody and find out what is your deal with this black women. What was the bug up your butt? You cannot come up with no excuse for saying like, 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 we like no, that's not gonna be an excuse. None of that rubbing your hair and saying like five times. It's not going to be an excuse. Employers, good neighbors, bank loans, etc., are not 95% white by accident. Mm. It would be New Earth, son. Y'all go tell Cody, let Chris Reviews interview him. Come come, get, come to a small blogger, okay? Come over here, Cody. Cody. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Those guys. You know, we do commentary on them and stuff like that. It's pretty good. But they really will only go on, like, blogger channels and YouTubers who are numbers are way bigger than mine or they are ex big brother. And that's just the facts. I want a man who will look like Denzel Washington. Uh, exactly. Why would that be so important to Cody? Now, nah, it's clear aggression toward a black woman. It feels so weird to me about Cody and his deal with her. I don't know, but I don't know what the big deal is, but if y'all want to see Nicole fall, please go to my Instagram because that was so freaking funny. I had to watch it like three times. I really did. It was so funny to me. I am extremely happy that boy got that $10,000. I don't care if donate half of it. I don't care if donate some of it. I don't give a care. That is his money. The fact that they're getting mad at him about that when Danny and Tyler won five G's, I'm trying to understand that. That was crazy. I 
I said, get that money. For real. And you know, OTEF, I wonder why they brought back OTEF and didn't let Will do it. Hmm. Why do you guys think that Will told about the triple eviction? What do you guys think about that? For him to make that comment and say, uh, three steps or whatever he said, and everybody's like tripping on it. Why in the world would you think that that they told Will to tell him that? I'm trying to understand that. Cody needs to relax. He knows if he isn't in that jury house, he's scared that Vaughn might drag him like he did Polly Fax. Nicole sounds like a whiny, whiny Nicole. Ugh. This is so hard. I was like, when she was on the competition, I was like, oh my God, please. I wanted to be surprised too, J Jobs. I am so disappointed because that was CBS who did that. CBS told Will to go and tell the house guests that they were going to have uh, something. I didn't get all excited. I think Big Brother thought there was going to be some drama. No. I think. They want some drama. I tell you what, if they put Christmas on that block, that triple, if she were forced to leave out there, she going to act a fool. And that, I can't wait to see. I hope she's out of there. I'm recording that. I'm recording that. She walks out, I'm going to do a replay. Walking out. The voiceover, oh, I'm going to act a fool. Let her walk out the door on Thursday. Uh, Cody knows he wants that sexy chocolate. Ah! <laughs> Everybody's saying that too. Just like Tyler wanted Bailey. The cold night was ridiculous. Who did she think she was full of throwing the cop? Right. She knew exactly what she was doing. That was the most fakest, fakest. That was horrible. Like, you're not even trying to call. You already won. You're just on here for your Instagram. Okay, that's it. You don't, you don't care. You already won. You probably still got money from that first win. And she getting the coin. Or just be on the show. They all are. I think they got Will to tell their house would start. Look, dude, face cup holder. I'm telling you. They really thought that house would act crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's in trouble. You're going home. You're going home. I'm sorry. No, no, you're going home. Like, up with you saying, you're going to jury. You're going to jury. You're going to jury. You know what I'm saying? Nothing happened. All that happened is that Danny got dressed up, thought it was going to happen today or yesterday. I need a man who looks like Mercedes. <laughs> uh, next COVID. Oh, J Jobs. Oh my God. And then David gonna tell her, your voice, your voice is your brand. He should have said, your voice is annoying. But it's your brand, but it's annoying. Oh my God. Stop lying, that girl. She probably thinks she got the house. Oh my God. He's telling me my voice is my brand. Mm-mm, stop. Nicole aging like rotten bread. All that wine isn't the same. No, it's not. She does look crazy. She doesn't look like anything. Remember when she first came out, I used to think that she was cute. I was like, oh my gosh, she's cute. I really did, but I don't know what happened. Maybe too many, too many guys, too many. What Janelle said, she jacked off all the men and got to number one. I almost I when Janelle said that. She jacked off all those guys. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine? Who that I know she got her freak on with somebody in the HOH. I don't know what season that was that she was upstairs. It wasn't just her. It was if we was do a compliment a compliment compliment uh I'm not even going to try to say it. I just can't. And they had me a beer and everything. Uh, man, now, his word all the time. Um, a different, all different uh, women that slept with somebody in the house. It'd be a very long list. There was a woman, on, a woman recently talking about her man she got. I got to look her up. And then she broke up with him. I'm like, you just slept with the man on national TV. Because, oh, back then, if you watched the, if you watched the, um, Back then, the one that had the laugh after dark, the pop channel showed everything. So, if people was in bed, you saw that. Eh, 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 eh. 
you know that you saw the up and down movements the cone cut oh you knew what was going down you knew it was going down but uh ah, no more of that anyway y'all that was giving <laughs> She was like, what's the way she go? Let me stop. <laughs> I know this just video not even on time now. I already know that. I ain't, I ain't worried about it. Cash apps or super chat because this this video, not my in fact, let me drop my cash app right quick, cuz this video not be monetized. YouTube for every little thing people give you money. I just gave them a reason. Hold up, hold up. Where is my oh there it is? Drop my little shameless cash app. Jackson and Holly. Jackson and Holly uh got together and had sex on camera. And she talked about it recently because people dragged her really bad for it. And um they ended up breaking up anyway. I was like, uh-uh. And Zakaya, I just don't know what to say about that child. You know, at first I thought, oh, this is cute. Like, you know, this be real black woman, the white dude, that's their brother. I was like, okay, I was into it. And then it went left. He was treating her like boo-boo under his shoe. Then she would not leave him alone. It got to the point where she was tired of him, and it was painful to watch. Like, she'd be leaning on him, and he'd be in the dining room talking about her, and, like, I was like, uh, this is horrible. Until he voted her behind out of there. I was like, mm-hmm. I did not see BB-18, but I heard Victor and her were adversaries. Yeah, yeah, to me, Victor seems very straight up. He does. Victor couldn't get Natalie or Sakai, so he set up for long. <laughs> he probably say, dang, what's the kind of number? Let me call her while Nicole is in Big Brother. What's up, girl? Hey. <laughs> New Earth son, Victor voted against Nicole F for the five. And probably, and she probably spent that money too. She probably was like, I don't care that you turned against me because. You, it's my money anyway, too. We're gonna get married. That's my money. Probably on their wedding. Uh, and people, the, people have been, uh, not, what you call it? Telling them we, well, people are talking about Nicole wedding like it's such a big freaking deal now because you talked about it so freaking much on Big Brother. Now everybody in Mama trying to get to the doggone wedding. It'll be a wall yell and everything. Nicole's a liar. Don't marry her. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Nicole might be a little, a little. I love Zakai, but I I thought she was playing game. I, she's gorgeous, but I just didn't understand. Zakai could have used Polly and got to the end, baby. I'm telling you, I said this. Oh no, no, for her, that whole season was a waste. I think she could have got to the end, cause actually, didn't she win the April H one time? Cause I actually think. She was smart. She just got hooked on the D, you know. That's why I say it's about the cash. Why he told the code F then going to Natalie. Why would anybody choose the code F? To hear her voice? Nicole acting like her and Victor are gonna stay together forever. She needs to relax. We we need to relax. We don't stay together forever. She needs to relax. We don't care about that musty wedding. She care about it more than anybody care about it, which I guess she should. Victor probably be like, stop talking about this wedding. Look, all of a sudden, here come the sponsors for her wedding. Uh, the sponsor, they probably gonna want to buy her dress for her so she can wear the dress and promote it. You watch. Zakaya and Bailey are the most beautiful players to ever play, I swear. I do agree with that. Zakaya never won an HOS. She wasn't good. She didn't, I thought she won something. I thought she won one thing. Are you serious? Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I seen clips of BB-18. That was crazy. She had went back to Polly in the jury. That was so irritating because he treated her like pure trash. You probably watched the full episodes now to ever son on YouTube. Um, that was pure trash, the way he treated her. And she, he did it on TV. I was like, mm-mm. And every time people, Devon was trying to tell her 
about them, and she'd be like, oh, did it? oh yeah, okay. And as soon as we come out of the shower around the corner, she'd be like, oh, Polly. She didn't say that. That's my Popeye's voice. Let me stop. But she'd be all in his face. You know, if he go taking crap, there's only time that he could be alone is when he would boob one or something. Because she'd be right there at the door waiting for him. Polly, do you want me to wipe your butt? Are you okay? Wanted to give you some tissue? I like, couldn't even breathe up in there. And now his girlfriend is the same girl he met on the channel. He was getting all her lessons from people on TV. Uh, they got Nicole 500K and didn't get a wedding advice. Nicole can't stand Janelle and send her one. Nicole is an idiot. If we had not established that already. Sakai was so stressed about Polly. She was obsessed. I feel like she was obsessed with him. I don't know what, what was the deal with that. Polly was all right, but it wasn't like to the point where I'm like, I'm about to lose everything, my money and everything over this man. Nicole is so fake. She tries to act like she's so sweet and humble, but she flip flops like no other. I'm still so sad for Ian. And Ian will still be cool with her and probably be at the wedding crying. Like a fool. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll be at your wedding. I'll show up at the reception hall. Huh? I want to show up to that. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. My, my stomach hurt. You voted me out lie. It's just stressing me out. Yeah, Ian is super loyal, and yet he was dragging Devon and all of them. The people who voted for Ian are the ones he was throwing on their bus before he left. I was like, this show is a trip. Devon and Kevin and uh, David look like idiots walking in out. You three were the one. But the one thing I will say, I, one thing I will say, David, Avon, and Kevin, they were real loyal. They were real deals compared to the committee. You know what I'm saying? Nicole lies, made them all look crazy. She blames Danny for it. Girl, you could have just voted and kept your friend. That would have been, for, if Nicole would have voted and kept her friend, that would have been an extra person for her to create a whole new alliance with Danny. The problem is, she just as racist as anybody else. She didn't want that black girl to stay in that house. She wants to play now with all the white committee, okay? Did we not catch that? She talked about she wanted to play, but she wanted to make sure it was with that black girl, only with the white committee. That's it. How are you, sweet? And welcome to Kamisha Reviews. Yes. Yes. You're not late, sweetie. You're right on time. Ian ain't no different from the committee. No, Ian's not. And I, and look, I thought they were wrong how they talked about Ian and spoke about his. Um, hold on, but for people who came in, before I said it, for the people who came in here late, I want to put a picture up. Desiree, these are the nominations of this season. And this is a question I've been asking everybody. When you look at this picture. What is the first thing that comes to your mind? And give me the real. I'm going to say everybody in here have already answered it, but I was curious to know her or anybody else who's new or watching from the sky. Skybox, whatever that means, you up in the sky watching, but you're not typing anything, which is fine too, as long as you hit that like button. Uh, Davon Bailey and Sakaya were the definition of black girl magic. They had all the Beckys hating on them, as they should. And they did. Mm -hmm. They still do. Ian does have autism, though. My friends who have autism sometimes can't tell when they're being played. They want to feel like they're part of something. You know, it's hard. I mean, I'm not even mad at Ian. They did Ian really, really, really bad. Um, They did. And I I hope that he, I mean, he can probably forgive Nicole, but Nicole should have been the one looking out for him. 
And that's the that's the point. Point blank. Period. Desiree, you still here? The des uh, I'm sorry, Desire, Desire Carter, you still here, sweetie? I wanted to hear her opinion. Uh, when you see this picture of the nominations of this season, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Okay, we have covered Old Tiff. Okay, Gnarly Dude. And we also uh, covered uh, Mr. 10 G's right here, and they tripping. Now, who, who said what? Uh, I feel sorry for Ian, but now I don't. He just liked the committee, but without being part of the crew. And they didn't even want to bring him in. That's the crazy thing. She's a nurse? Wow, really? Hmm. I wonder how that butt bedside manner is. It's too hard. Let me call another nurse. I can't do it. Uh, let me stop. Okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I hate to have Nicole as a nurse. Look, I'm telling you, hotmess.com. She's trying to give you a shot. You got like five different circles on your arm, but she didn't mess up your arm. Your impression is perfect. <laughs> Did we not see Kevin with that leap? I'm telling you, Kevin, I don't know why he hasn't put more effort. Kevin, when he was trying to leap to get to, get to that video, Kevin is an athlete. I don't know what happened to Kevin this year. I don't know what happened. He had a whole season where he didn't get on block at all. And then a season he was on block every time, five freaking times. She said, I bet Nicole is giving the patient, you know what? She's probably still saying, what's the fellatio? <laughs> this video will not be monetized. So please, I don't mind a cash app or a super chat, okay? Because I just became monetized. <laughs> They're going to say, nope. <laughs> and YouTube look for every little thing so they ain't got to pay you, I'm telling you. And because I made that comment about Valencio, and some of y'all said the comment, I'm going to say, nah. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let me leave her alone. Let me leave her alone. Let me leave her alone. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, everybody. Yes, please click the bell. Hit that like button, please. Devon has a beautiful complexion. Yes, she does. Don't forget the chocolate girls. Bailey is beautiful too. Yeah, we, we uh mentioned that earlier, uh, Malik. Kevin turned into Linus. Wait, wait, wait. Kevin turned into Linus. <laughs> the Christmas Shepherd. He had five good reasons to play today. Let me tell you something. Laundry day. I said Kevin was hustling. I was laughing when he hey Diamond for Depp when he ran. Across said he said, wait a minute, because even because him and Cody had like the same thought. I was just laughing because Cody was like, he was like, oh, one of my nominees, um, they're about to get to the. I have to hurry up and see, you know. And then I see Kevin. He's like, we have the same shirt. All I know is that I see Kevin jump over those balls. I was like, dude, I got frustrated with him when he got to the end. And he just tried to climb up. I said, why do you grab the rope? I don't get that. Why didn't you grab the freaking rope? Diane for them, how you doing, sweetie? Jay is beautiful inside and out. She is tough. Kevin would just, man, I've never seen him move like that. I was actually impressed. I was impressed. Uh, it was Cody. Between the last bit of it was between Cody and Kevin. And of course, you know, he won. What is though? Like, um, like, um, oh, his voice is so annoying. I, I sometimes I just don't know how I can take him sometimes. Kevin was gazelle. Kevin was not playing with these. Kevin was like, Look, I don't have, I got time today. Kevin was like, Hold on, I'm gonna boss up on it. Oh, yeah. You know, Cody, like, um, like, 
like uh brush hair back, brush hair back, like um, you know, he don't be here, he don't have nothing to say. He don't have nothing to say. I think Coda just be trying to hear his voice. That's it. Anyway, y'all, as always, we had a good time. Hot Kiki and over here acting crazy <clears throat> on Commission Reviews channel. Um, tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the day. Um, I probably will not be going. Well, I'm not for sure if I'm doing my morning live. I always do my morning live in the morning. For those of you who follow me, I do a morning live where I get up. Go live. I'm up, I'm up. Yes. I had not done the past few days because I wasn't, my, I mean, just wasn't feeling like doing it. I just wasn't feeling right. Anyway, I am feeling awesome. I may do it tomorrow morning, but the reason why I'm waiting is because I want to use all my lives for triple eviction talk for tomorrow night. Now, what I'm probably going to do for everybody who's listening right now, Periscope, YouTube, Facebook, I'm going to create my live for tomorrow. I'm going to put it on my community wall. Make sure you check the community wall. You go to my channel on YouTube, you'll see video, playlist, and then you'll see community wall. Click on that. You'll see a bunch of posts, polls, questions, all kind of stuff. And on that wall, I'm going to post the live for tomorrow. So you guys can go ahead and hit the bell. And then you hit the bell, it will give you notification 30 minutes before I go live. So you guys can know. It's a triple tomorrow. It's going to be a two-hour live. So we'll be going live. We're going to come on at 7. So 9.05, we're going to be on. All right. I love you guys. So much. I enjoyed you guys tonight. Do not forget to hit the like button. And please don't forget to go and follow my Instagram. Same name, Kamisha Reviews. Do not forget to subscribe to all my social media so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. Y'all enjoy your evening. Thank you guys. Dude, dude face cup holder. I'm so happy that you were here and enjoyed you too. We'll see what you get. Uh, my moderator. Malik, thank you for watching the chat and encouraging everybody to hit that like button. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.